Hello children. Good morning to you all. Hope you are writing the exams well. So next is our exam that is social studies subject. Okay. Hmm? So I am going to give you some explanation about a few bits which you cannot write on your own. I feel that if I explain you can do well. Understand? So that I am going to explain. First one is about social studies. We have some flow chart. Understand? This flow chart will be about some topic. Say first let us take revolt of 1857. First war of independence. Revolt of 1857 means first war of independence. Okay. Uh, so, I can give you date. Uh, first, let me give some options in the bracket. You are choosing from the options and filling up the blank. This may be a new thing for you. I hope I have given you flowchart or not. I don't remember. If it is a new thing, please learn it properly. I am going to give you two of the same kind. You are going to write them. Okay. So, in the bracket, you will get Mangal Pandey. Okay. Meerat. Tenth May eighteen fifty seven. Okay. Ah. Uh, then Lakshmi Bai. Nana Sahib. First War of Independence. independence like this you will get the options what are they mangal pandey meerat 10th may 1857 lakshmi bai nana sahib first war of independence etc if i write here you know this word cannot be sufficient if i go with this so like this you are going to get the options hmm? like this you are going to get the options and you are going to get side headings. Side headings. Read the side heading. What you are supposed to do, you will understand and choose the answer from the given bracket and write against it. That way you are going to do. Your place is not enough on the board. So, I have to rub these options. Mm. And I will give you the subheadings. For example, first one, date and year. If it is date and year given like this, you write 10th May 1857. B, other name given to this revolt. First war of independence. Hmm? First war of independence. Hmm. Then third one. First person to revolt. First person to revolt. It is Mangal Pandey. It is Mangal Pandey. Hmm. It is Meerat. Meerat. And leaders of the revolt. Lakshmi Bai, 
I give only two names. Lakshmi Bai and Nana Sate. If places of the revolt will be given means you can write Kanpur, Delhi. If it is given, places of the revolt. If it is given, you can write that way. Okay. So, this is the way we have to write the flowchart. This is one example. Second example I am going to give about the Indian National Congress. Hmm? I, am to go, I am going to give about the Indian National Congress. In the Indian National the Indian National Congress. You are going to get a flow chart about this topic. Okay. You will get options like this. A O U W C Banerjee. Eighteen eighty five, seventy two, eighteen eighty five, seventy two, or um, hmm, Bombay. Like this, you get the headings. Self rule. So these are the options, answer options you get. Hmm? A O U, W C Banerjee, eighteen eighty five, seventy two, Bombay self rule. These are the options you are going to get. Now I am going to give you some headings. First one, year of formation. When it was formed. Okay. Second year getting founder. Who founded it? Third, first president of the INC. First president. Huh? Place of first session. Meeting. Session means meeting. Number of delegates. Attended. Attended the. Number of delegates attended the session. Like this things you are going to get. So. Year of formation. It is. 1885. If you get the month, you will have to write to December 1885. Founder. Who founded it? A. O. U. A. O. U. First president. Who was first president? W. C. Banerjee. W. C. Banerjee was the first president. Place of first session. Where the first session was held? It was Bombay. The number of delegates, how many members first attended this meeting? Only 72 people. Understand? This is how you have to complete the flow chart. Hmm. So this is how you are going to write the uh, flow chart about it. Anyways, I am going to give you in a typed manner. I am going to give you in a typed manner. Okay? So, this is what you are going to get. This is one topic. Second topic is
राइट द नेम्स ऑफ राइट द नेम्स ऑफ द पर्सन एंड प्लेस रिलेटेड टू द फॉलोइंग इवेंट्स इवेंट्स मीन्स इंसिडेंट्स हैपन आई एम गोइंग टू राइट दम ऑन द ब्लैक बोर्ड एंड गिव यू वन क्लू मीन्स आंसर फर्स्ट लेटर विल बी द क्लू फॉर यू आंसर फर्स्ट लेटर विल बी द क्लू फॉर यू ओके दैट सींग दैट यू कैन राइट इट आंसर फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट वन फादर ऑफ द नेशन Which person is called father of the nation? You know very well. Then for it, I will give G in the beginning. Means Gandhi G. You should write. First letter will be your clue. Okay. Then C route to India was discovered by Dash. C route to India was. Discovered by Dash. V will be the clue. Which person? C route to India was discovered by Vasco da Gama. In this way, you should write. Ah, huh? first Europeans to come to India. फर्स्ट यूरोपियन अयो टू कम टू इंडिया आई विल राइट पी मीन्स यू शुड राइट कंप्लीटली फॉर चुगीज इट इज जस्ट लाइक फिल इन द ब्लैंक चिल्ड्रन यू हैव गॉट कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग नॉट इन दैट ऑल द आंसर्स यू हैव गॉट यू लर्न Nearly thirty complete the following I gave one, two, and three. Thirty are there. All the thirty you learn very perfectly. You will get all objective from it. Huh? Portuguese. Like this you have tried. So. First Prime Minister of India, J. I write. Means you write Jawaharlal Nehru. Huh? Red fort is in the dash. D. I wrote. Means Delhi. You should write. This way you have to write all the uh, answers with the help of first letter. First letter of the answer will be your clue. Okay. After this, one more thing I would like to tell you is correct the wrong statements. Hmm. Correct the wrong statements. How it will be? Huh? True or false? I told you read all the true or false yesterday or day before yesterday. I gave you learn all the true or false. Only. And eh, how we will get correct the wrong statements? What you are going to do? Here you are going to get one word wrong in the sentence. Okay. Huh? The latitudes are also called meridians. This word meridians is wrong. Okay. You have to put it wrong in the bracket and write here parallels. Only one word which is right you write, or you are writing full sentence. Uh, it is wrong. You should write a full. The latitudes are called parallels. Okay, India got independence on first August eight nineteen forty seven. And each channel called it. Ah, uh, India got independence 
on first august 1947 first august is wrong here what should be the answer 15th august so you should write full sentence india got independence on 15th august 1947 in this way if you write you will get one mark for it okay this is the way you have to write the answer so these three topics i wanted to discuss with you okay one is flow chart second write the persons or places names related to the given events third is correct the wrong statements okay then i want to tell you you have fill in the blanks i mean um, complete the following i gave in three bits 1 2 3 total 30 i have given i think out of 30 you will get fill in the blanks you will get answer in a word you will get like this uh, uh, correct the wrong statements correct statements you will get and you will get uh, places and events and you may get uh, even one line answers you don't get any big answers answer in a line is your first bit <coughs> in that whatever answers are there those also can be given as the complete the following so don't neglect complete the following you are reading all the 3 30 very easily you can solve the paper i am sure and yesterday or uh, huh, yesterday i have sent diagrams also some are having textbook some are not having textbook i got phone from the student that's why i gave important latitudes plus uh, heat zones heat zones means climatic zones also to diagrams pages i have sent a photo to you people those who do not have textbook please practice for by seeing that photo okay i hope everything is clear to you one more class i will take on saturday or uh, yeah mostly on saturday i will take or sunday i will take about uh, what are the topics how you should answer the topics etc so here we stop children thank you so much do well that's it